Welcome back to Google Developers Weekly for January 21st, 2014, our first weekly wrap-up for the year. I'm Lewis Gray, and this is our highlight reel of what's happening in the world of Google Developers on the set and off. Team Chrome started 2014 off with a bang, launching a great new course on mobile web development with Udacity. Instructors Chris Wilson, Sean Bennett, and Peter Lovers join Udacity CEO Sebastian Thrun in a special GDL event, kicking off the course to help you transform your traditional desktop-focused web apps into fast, effective mobile experiences. You can sign up at udacity.com slash course slash CS256. In fact, the course is so fast-paced, the first study group has already taken place. Good news, though. We recorded it, and you can catch up on GDL. The instructors took Q&A and offered help on the course material. The world's gone mobile, and it's time your software did. Last March, Google introduced Blink, a new rendering engine for the Chromium project. Paul Irish hosted Eric Seidel, an engineer working on Blink, to bring us up to date. Eric covered architectural improvements Chrome is making to the Blink code base, focus on performance, and some audacious ideas. If you love the web, you'll love this update. And a lot has happened in the world of enterprise maps. Dylan Thomas joined us in the GDL studio to tell us what's new including Google Maps Engine API updates, image referencing, and symbology improvements, as well as an update to the Places API autocomplete and a brand new Enterprise Maps app on Android. The YouTube developers team brought us a pair of videos in the last week or so. After all, when you think about it, videos are pretty much what they do. First, Paris Start at Stupiflix joined us to talk about their platform, which makes it easy for people and developers to create videos. They recently launched Replay, allowing users to bring their photos and recordings together as a single video from their phone or tablet. Then, from New York, Jeff Posnick followed up with a helpful talk on how you can migrate from the YouTube Data API version 2 to version 3, walking us through the process using the Google Developers Console. And with the new year, Google Developers Academy is back. Google Developers expert Cesar Anton launched a five-part series on GDL, focusing on Google Drive for Mexico City. Por supuesto, todas las clases son en español. And from Berlin, Martin Gorner hosted Jerome Moten, CTO of Snap Engage, the company behind live chat capabilities for thousands of sites. Jerome and Martin talk about how Snap Engage has leveraged App Engine and how the company has optimized cloud platform costs through massive growth. Nasir Khan invited Brian Lee of Orbitz to demonstrate how the company integrated with Google Wallet and the Instant Buy API taking us through a live demo of the app and speeding up purchases. And as usual, the Android team has a small handful of deadbytes for us. Check out Daniel Pham's weekly summary on the Android Developers YouTube channel or at developers.google.com slash live slash Android for the latest on mobile. And have you ever been running a web app only to encounter a slow patch and you didn't know why? Wouldn't you love to have a profiler running that can tell you what's going on? Now you can. The latest Chrome Canary introduces a sampling profiler that you can turn on once and then forget about it until you need it. Profile all the things. And Google Compute Engine already provides a reliable way to run Apache Hadoop. Now we've added the Google Cloud Storage connector for Hadoop to make it easier to use Hadoop on cloud platform. To find out if this is for you, we have a nice Hadoop tutorial you can try. Check it out at developers.google.com slash Hadoop. And to make sure you never miss a thing from the world of Google Developers, subscribe to Google Developers on YouTube and check out the GDL schedule at developers.google.com live. I'm Lewis Gray, and I'll see you in the studio.